Street Fighter, the movie is a 1995 head-to-head -head fighting game released as a coin-operated arcade game. The game is based on the 1994 live-action Street Fighter film, itself based on the Street Fighter series of fighting games, and uses digitized images of the film's cast. While a home video game also titled Street Fighter, the movie was released for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn, it is not a port but a separately produced game based on the same premise. The arcade version was developed by Chicago-based Incredible Technologies and distributed to the arcades by Capcom. Gameplay The arcade version of Street Fighter, the movie differs from the previous Street Fighter II games in several ways. The game gives a greater emphasis towards air combos or juggling. Than previous games, the player can continuously attack their opponent while they're falling in the air with a series of attacks. Additionally, players can cancel any special move while performing it into another special move. This can even be done with projectile attacks. Many of the returning Street Fighter characters feature new special moves exclusive to the game, such as Bison's Electric Arc, Kami's Whip Choke, and Guile's Handcuff. A special move based on a glitch in the original Street Fighter 2. Characters such as Zangief and Balrog now have the ability to deflect projectile attacks back to their opponent. Many of these new special moves require for the player to hold down a specific attack button, input a directional based command on the joystick and then release the button. The method for grappling attacks was reversed for the game, performing the throw command while holding the joystick towards an opponent will throw the opponent to the opposite direction and vice versa. Player has the option of inputting a specific command to escape a throw with no damage or perform a counter throw. However, a character can counterattack a counter throw by performing a reverse, while reversing a counter throw can ultimately be countered with a slam master technique. Other techniques exclusive to this game include interrupt moves, which are performed after blocking an opponent's attacks, and Comeback moves, which are special moves that can only be used when the player's life gauge is on the danger level. These would later return as alpha counters and ultra combos. The super combo gauge from Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is featured in the game. Most of the characters in the game, with only a few exceptions, have at least two super combo moves, one that leaves a trail of blue shadows and another that leaves a trail of red shadows. In addition to super combos, the players can also perform a regeneration move when their super combo gauge is full to restore a portion of their vitality gauge this would later be seen in street fighter ex3 and street fighter 3 the standard single player mode consists of a series of 14 matches including a clone match ending with a final match against m bison there are also several secret game modes including a tag team mode in a tag team match, the player gets to choose two characters and fight against other tag teams in single round matches, switching to the second character only after the first one has been defeated. Each fighter's ending sequence consists of a promotional still or two from the movie with accompanying text describing the character's fate after the events of the tournament, followed by the staff role. Topic. Characters. The game's cast contains most of the characters from Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, with the exception of Fei Long, DJ, T Hawk, Blanca, although he appears quite rarely in Dalsim's lab by jumping into the stage and doing his electric ability, and Dalsim. Akuma, who was a hidden character in Super Turbo and X-Men, Children of the Atom, was a regular character for the first time in any game. Two new characters were also introduced, Sawada, an original character from the film, and Blade, a member of Bison's shock troops from the film. Arcane, F7 and Kyber, who were all palette swaps of Blade, appear as secret characters. A powered-up version of Bison appears as a final computer-controlled opponent exclusive to the game's tag team mode. While Blanca and DJ would be added to the selectable cast of the home versions, there is leftover data in the arcade game indicating that Blanca was meant to be a playable character in this version as well, as there is an ending for him. Street Fighter, the movie is the only game in the series where the boss characters Balrog, Vega and Bison, as well as Akuma, were addressed by their western names in Japan. 
The Japanese instruction card features the original Japanese names of the characters written next to the Western names in parentheses to avoid confusion. The actors in the film are credited with reprising their roles for the game, with some of the actors dressed differently so as to more closely resemble their video game counterparts. While Raul Julia was credited as Bison, his likeness only appears in the game's attract sequence and cut scenes, which used footage from the film. Julia's stunt double, Darko Tuscan, was used to digitize the character in the game instead. Akuma — Ernie Reyes Sr. Balrog — Grand L. Bush Blade — Arcane — Kyber — F7 — Alan Noon Kami — Kylie Minogue — Emma Carney Chun Li — Ming-Na Wen E. Honda — Peter Tuyaso Sopo Guile — Jean-Claude Van Damme Ken — Damien Chapa M. Bison — Raul Julia, Darko Tuscan Ryu — Byron Mann Saget — Wes Studi Sawada — Kenya Sawada Vega — J. Tavare Zangief — Andrew Briniarski characters each had between 600 to 800 digitized frames of animation, for a total of 32 megabytes of graphics. Each character had a 256 color palette, compared with 16 colors in previous CPS-based Street Fighter games, and 64 colors in Mortal Kombat. Reception According to Maximum, the game was reasonably successful in the arcades. Next Generation reviewed the arcade version of the game, rating it two stars out of five, and stated that, despite this digital crossover, neither brilliantly conceived nor sleepily dull, this game features the former fighting moves from Super Street Fighter II Turbo and excellent new ones, which adds to the growing Street Fighter series depth. <laughs> Notes <laughs>